Hello and welcome. I am your friendly neighborhood technician and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. First off, let me start by saying I did something stupid. I was looking for a new car and pretty much my only requirements were V8. Now, I should have done something smart like get a Camry such as that one right there, but nope, didn't do that. Didn't want to do that. Wanted to do uh, something a little more unreliable. So I think I found the most unreliable car that I could find. And since I am a Mercedes technician, that's what I went with. Went with an old Mercedes. Well, here it is, 92 400E. As you can see, it is fairly clean, but only problem is, needs an engine, which uh, tends to uh, lead cre credibility to that old adage, there's no such thing as a cheap Mercedes. And let me present you with exhibit A. But other than that, it is pretty clean. Got it from the uh, very, very nice uh, old Italian gentleman, which he was nice enough to leave a uh, Italian decal on the back for me. I'll walk you through the car. As you can see, the body's pretty straight, pretty clean. Everything 100% original in this car. So, straight back here, as you can see, Italian flag. This guy was hardcore Italian, which, nicest guy on the planet, by the way. Oh, there's some bushes. Even the antenna works. Door locks all work and everything, too, which I can show that to you now. Check this out. Door lock works. That door lock works. They all freaking work, which is awesome. Interior's pretty clean. Not too much about the, uh, there's a little bit of peeling right here on the door panel, but I'm gonna see if I can fix that. Probably do that in another video. And the center console leather right here. That's a little getting a little peely also. This thing locks. You can see the wood trim is in pretty good shape. You can see all that right there. All that wood trim, seats are in pretty good shape. Everything in here is pretty good. In, in all the dashes are in the, is pretty good. Original radio, that actually works. Look at all that wood trim, that's awesome. Nothing on there, about 102,000 miles on the clock. See right there, but the only problem is, needs an engine like I said. So let's go back and let's go check out the trunk. All right, here we are at the trunk. And my favorite thing in the trunk, factory cd player check that out and it still works too still has everything in there look at that everything still works awesome thing is super super clean on the outside at least i wish the uh, engine were the uh running but whatever that's why i got it it's a project as you can see it also has in the back seat the 400D floor mats. Also on this side as well. We got 400D floor mats on top of the uh, regular floor mats. And it's all black down there from the fuzziness. But back seat is just as clean as the front seat. Look at all that. Good stuff. So let's check out the engine next. One thing I wanted to point out here real quick is the mirrors aren't even discolored. You can see that one right there. Usually a lot of, uh, over time, these start getting uh, like a brownish color to them. Project for another day, flat tire. Let's see right here. Don't lift up on this just by this. You will snap it off. So instead, lift up somewhere else. Yep, there we go. I asked for it. That's what I got, a V8. The only problem is it got a blown head gasket. So um, when I was looking at this car, it had no coolant in it. Then, so I put, Filled it up with water, 
Well, actually, it filled it up with coolant too. And then started it. Didn't run, but I rechecked the coolant level. It's lower and it smells like oil in there now. So, needs a head gasket. But I have an engine sitting at work that's going to get replaced. That's going to get replaced with. Got to transfer over a ton of parts. Also, I was looking at this. That might have been what happened to the coolant in the first place to cause the engine to overheat and the uh, the head gasket to blow. But you can see right there, I think there's a small crack right down there underneath this right here. And I bet you if I lift it up on this, it'd probably just crack off. But everything else about this thing is insanely clean. How clean everything is. Look at all that. So I got to transfer a lot of stuff over from this engine to the new engine. And then get it going. So that's going to be the, uh, the video series is trying to get this thing driving. Got to replace the radiator, replace the engine, transfer over a lot of the stuff. And uh, gonna have to do a new thermostat, replace some of these hoses. Uh, I'm gonna have to check to make sure the wiring harness is okay because a lot of time on these old cars, especially the uh, pre-95s, these wiring harness wiring harnesses got all super cracked and super de they deteriorated pretty bad. These I'm gonna have to replace. Uh, I'll also do a video on the engine that I have sitting in a sitting on a pallet right now. But all these hoses are gonna have to get replaced, uh, and because uh, those are all rock hard, I can't even I can't even pinch that. So that's where we at. That's where we're at so far. I will keep all you guys updated, or all you guy updated, whoever watches this watches this video, which hopefully a lot of you do. Even these right here, you can see right. Look at these. These things are usually crumble apart but those things are still amazing stopped and everything so that's where we're at thank you for watching so in this whole uh video series we're gonna uh, go through the engine we're gonna go through the car make sure everything is uh good to go on it get it running get it driving i'm pretty sure that engine's gonna have to come apart the uh the engine the new engine that i have yeah the new engine's gonna have to come apart fantastic um so we're, we'll do that. We'll see how far I actually have to go by uh, taking the engine apart, you know, what needs to get replaced, what doesn't. Um, and then uh, we'll get it running. And all I know for sure is I don't want to keep it stock like this. So um, I haven't thought of a project name yet for it, but um, I was suggested uh, Grandpa Grand Prix since this is a really, really hardcore grandpa car. And, uh, but we'll, we'll figure it out. As we go along, I just want to keep it, uh, I, don't, I want to get it running, then we'll change how it looks, maybe lower it a little bit, get some different wheels uh, that are not these factory wheels, maybe some factory uh, wheels of a different style. Input is helpful, just down in the comments, if you, anybody comments, yeah, who knows, um, and let me know.